Breaker Broke 23. Today in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the Slash 3. This is a wireless, high-resolution, high-end Bluetooth receiver. This is Bluetooth 5.1 technology, which is the newest, latest, and greatest version of Bluetooth. This supports all seven of the popular codecs. Um, it has a full... 2 plus volts RMS RCA output, which is what I really like. And honestly, that's kind of like one of the most important things to me. I want this to have the proper RCA output level. Um, I want this to drive my receiver or preamplifier just with the same uh, input signal that my uh, external CD player has or a DVD player. I really don't like that when you add a Bluetooth receiver or a DAC that has a low RCA output because then you have to turn your volume control up more to get the same sound as whatever source you just got through listening to. And that takes a lot of the headroom away in uh, a lot of amplifiers. That's like a whole nother discussion down the road. We'll probably get into that. But anyway, uh, this has a really nice hot output. I would classify that as, and with that killer, uh, beautiful audio quality that this thing has, um, I think this is just a winner. Now, this is the bottom of the line in the Slash product lineup, if I remember correctly. This comes in at $109. This has all of the audio quality of the high-end unit, the Slash 6. So... Um, other than that, I mean, if you want audio quality, but you don't need bells and whistles like optical in and out, and you don't want this to be or need this to be a DAC, um, you want a high-end Bluetooth receiver that you just basically just plug into the back of your stereo. You plug the power cable into it, run it off of your AC wall adapter or 5-volt power supply, whatever you want to power it up with, and you are good to go. So on the front panel, we just have our five volt input here, the USB-C. We have our little push button with a little light inside of there. And this MFB button, multifunction push button, basically is just for pairing. And um, yeah, and by the way, this pairs to pretty much every device I have very, very easily. And once you pair it to a device, it pretty much just sticks with it. Um, yeah, that, and then we have the RCAs. Kind of an odd, kind of an odd piece, right? Um, and like I say, it just plugs right into the back. I mean, I'll show you a couple stock photos. I'm not going to pull my system out to to do that. But um, anyway, yeah, it sounds great. Now I am used to tabletop devices. Okay, this is this is what I'm used to, like a tabletop device. All right, and. I got to be honest with you, several months back when I saw the Slash products, I did not take them serious because it was not what I was used to, the tabletop piece. I'm thinking, well, you know, this kind of looks like a dongle, you know, the Bluetooth dongles. And I'm not a fan of those at all. Um, I see a lot of them sent back. Uh, people order those, you know, the 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 nine dollar, the twenty nine dollar, the forty nine dollar dongles and stuff. And I see a lot of folks sending them back. And the reason why a lot of these guys are sending these back is because the audio quality is just terrible. And um, you know, we're getting year by year, we're getting a little bit closer to CD quality. So not a dongle. Um, doesn't have that dongle sound. Has the sound of a straight up high end tabletop unit. Okay, so you get the unit itself, you get some female barrel RCAs in case you don't want to just plug this into the back of your receiver and forget about it. It has a really high quality uh, USB-C cable. And I've dealt with this particular brand of cables before and I like these. So anyway, you know, it's a power cable. Good stuff though, really good stuff. They did not cheap out on this. This unit, I believe, right now is around $109. So, you know, uh, don't let this size fool you. This has that sound. Anyway, if you don't want to leave this behind your stereo receiver, because like I say, that's what it's designed to do, and you're like me, person that's used to uh, tabletop units, and I like to 
experiment and play around and see what kind of range I can get and stuff like that. I just like to kind of be in control of things. So they give you these connectors, these female barrel connectors, and then you can just plug an RCA cord into that and then reach around, you know, receiver, your receiver and plug it into the back of your receiver. And this works really well. And I do this a lot, actually. This is actually my preferred technique, honestly. So anyway, and what I like to do too, you know, with these tabletop units and that is depending on like, you know, I have a couple systems around the house and they're each set up differently. And I like to um, be able to maybe pull it out of the rack and see if I can get a little bit more range out of it, maybe move it around. Um, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. I just like to kind of mess with them. This allows us to do that. So that's pretty cool. You're not just stuck having to plug that in. Okay, so anyway, uh, one last thing I want to touch on with the uh, Slash product is these upgraded cables. So, um, look, I'm not really a fan of the cheap, you know, 59 cent cables that come with a lot of Bluetooth receivers, even the like the good ones, right? Like the higher end ones, they generally come with uh, very low quality RCA cables. So when I was looking through the Slash product lineup, I saw that they made some, gosh, I forget what these are now. I think these are three and a half feet long. Check them out on the on their website. I'll leave links to this stuff down below. Anyway, I noticed these RCAs and really what caught my attention was, oh, Amphenol. Amphenol connectors. Okay, I got to click on this and check it out. All right. So I'm, I'm like, I'm my, one of my other hobbies is radio. And Amphenol connectors are noted in electronics as top quality connectors. They've always been like in on the leading edge of quality connectors. RF connectors, DC connectors, whatever. And so I saw Amphenol on there and I'm thinking, oh, that's, that's interesting. Let me look a little bit more. Then I saw what they were using for wire. They're using Sommer wire. And that's good stuff. This is, this is top quality wire. So I'm thinking, all right, well, I'll bite. I want to get a set of these for upgrade just to see. Now, for my own use, I make my own twisted pair of wire. I use really high quality Belden uh, copper free, or oxygen free copper wire. And um, I still have a bunch left over, even like from the nineties, like that, that wire was just spectacular back then. That was better quality copper than we have now. That being said, this keeps up, uh, and sounds just as good as my high end handmade cables. And for the price, um, if you were to buy this wire, um, on its own, and then the connectors on your own and then solder them up yourself. By the time you, you pay postage and all that, you're probably going to spend more for this than the $45 that, that I, th I think it's 45 or $46 that Slash sells them. Now, don't hold me to these prices because these prices fluctuate quite a bit. But this is how I run my Slash products on my home stereo. Okay, I use these upgraded cables. I plug it in like this, right? And then I grab my, I grab my nice USB. I plug it into my AC adapter and I go like that. And I just keep that on top of the receiver, just like that. So anyway, um, I get good, good range with this. This has a really good receive range. Excellent considering it doesn't have an external antenna. The antenna is on the PC board in here. Anyway, all the latest and greatest whiz-bang chipsets in here. Uh, like I say, Bluetooth 5.1 technology. And just, just an awesome sounding device. Great sound stage. It's not too open and airy. It's not too pinpoint. I, I love it. It's just right. It sounds great on the home stereo. And if I want to uh, start getting nitpicky, I'll throw on the headphones. And it sounds really good. Uh, through the headphones. I love the staging on this thing. I really like the uh, the audio quality. And again, most importantly, the proper RCA output level. This has it. 
All right, so the Slash 3, pretty nice device for sure. Just a Bluetooth only receiver, just takes Bluetooth signal from your phone, converts it to analog RCA output, that's it. And it does a very darn good job at it. All right, if you have questions or comments, please leave those down below. If you already own one of these, let me know how you like it. I'd love to hear, you know, how you like it. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. I'd really appreciate it. All right, that's it. The Slash 3. Thanks for watching. Cheers.